Hey, Christy. Ricardo here with my Amazon guy. Hope you're doing well. I was browsing through some products in your category, and I came across your Enjoy store. And, you know, first and foremost, congrats on over 1,800 ratings. You guys have, you know, 4.8 stars out of 5. So you're doing a great job so far. Um, what I do here, I look for potential opportunities with Amazon sellers. So basically, I took a good look at your account. And I identify some things that if you were to change them, it would not only help your listing perform better, but actually sell better. So I'm just going to save you some time. I'm just going to get right to it. I hope you find this video valuable and helpful. OK, so let's just get right to it. So if we go over here, you'll see that you have 33 sponsored keywords and 800 organic ones. Right. So we like to see a one to two ratio. So for every sponsored keyword that you have, you want to have two organic ones. This is because SEO and PPC work very closely together. And we like to see that ratio because it gives us an idea of the overall health of an account. OK, so right now it looks like you're really under spending on ads. And we recommend, especially right now in 2022, when there's like sponsor ads everywhere, we definitely recommend upping your ad spend. So I'm curious to see. I'm curious to know if, if you're doing this in-house or if you have an agency already doing that for you, um, because, you know, right now just having 33 sponsor keywords is not enough to to get a high volume of sales. Um, and just so I can illustrate that point for you, I went ahead and sorted by the highest search volume keywords here. And as you can see, we can take a look at your rankings here. Uh, for the keyword hairspray, you are at 153 organic, 240 sets for detangler spray. So what this means is that people have to sort through 240 sets items just so that they're able to find yours, right? So basically you're not being seen. Uh, you're ranking uh, sponsor number four for Living conditioner spray, that's good. 282 for texture spray for hair. So as you can see, there's a lot of gaps, right? There's a lot of holes and gaps in both your organics and your sponsor. And so what that means, like for instance, you're paying for this keyword right here at 65 for curl, uh, curl mousse. So you're paying for this keyword, but you're not even showing up in the in the in the rankings. I mean, you're 65, so people are not even seeing your product. So what this tells me is that there's a lot of wasted ad spend happening in your account. So that would be one of the main things that we focus on in the beginning, just eliminating all that wasted ad spend because that's just money that you're throwing away. OK, so that's on that end. I want to show you something here. Um, I looked up one of your competitors and I'm not looking to do any product comparisons or anything like that. What I want to show you is the back end uh, strategy that they're doing. So as you can see here, they have 1300 sponsored keywords and 5300 organic ones. Right. So they're really focusing and honing in on their SEO. And as you can see, their rankings here, it shows it. Look, they're number one for all of these keywords right here. If you keep scrolling down, I mean, look, all of the top 50 keywords and their ranking, their lowest ranking is number three. And as you can see, their sponsor is actually pretty high as well. So the reason why they're selling the the you know the units that they're selling is because they're really honing in on their SEO and they're using their PPC as a crutch. OK, so we like I said, we normally recommend doing both at the same time. It looks like right now you're doing uh, more SEO than PPC. So we definitely will, will, you know, we'll have to take a look and see you know what's going on here, why you're not really whether it's underspending on ads or, or you know, maybe the, the agency, if you, are, if you are doing it with an agency, maybe they're doing something wrong. But right now, um, you know, you're you're definitely spending money that you shouldn't be. And, you know, because that's just profitability just being thrown uh, at the fire, so to speak. Right. So now that's on on that end. Now I want to show you something. I, I, I was looking at your listing and I, I like the, the, you know, the image of the product. But I feel like, and this is probably something that you already know, you definitely have to add more images, infographics, lifestyle images. We like to see a, uh, you know, different variations of, you know, many different types of images because it helps give the buyer a lot more context about the product. Like if we go over here, you'll see that they have a picture of the product, right? They have this infographic right here, right? Just different images that give people more context, right? And they have a video and you have a video, too, which is great. Um, but you definitely want to add more pictures because that also helps you. Uh, you know, it, it increases your SEO value. Um, and also your title right now is at 95 characters. Normally, we recommend for it to be 200 because. I mean, that's that's the maximum space that Amazon gives you. So you definitely want to fill this up with more relevant keywords, more relevant search terms. The more that you fill it up, the more chances you have, because Keep in mind that your your listing title is the most important place that Amazon looks at when it goes to rank your listing. OK, and your bullet points, you can have 
up to 250 uh, characters on every single bullet point. And right now it looks like you're not fully taking advantage of that. So I wonder if this is something that you're doing in-house or someone else doing for you, uh, because I see a lot of gaps and holes. And so I'm just I'm just letting you know, just so, just so that you are aware. Um, but if we go over here, we can take a look at your A plus content. I love your A plus content, beautiful design. I love that you have keywords on here. You have a uh, crawlable text, which is awesome. Normally we recommend 500 to 1000 words of crawlable text for, for the best results. looks like you have some good images here and some, some crawlable text. Um, but looking at your alt text, it's lacking a little bit. You can have up to 100 characters on your, on your alt text. And that way, as you can see, right now you're probably using about 20 or 30. So you definitely want to take, take advantage of all that space because the way that I see it and the way that we see it is, you know, Amazon is giving you so much real estate. You got to take advantage of everything, you know, everything that you can take advantage of, take advantage because that's going to help you in the rankings, uh, especially against your competitors. So um, hopefully this one's not too overwhelming, Christy. Uh, here on my Amazon guy, we manage over 250 brands, you know, over $300 million of revenue a year across all the brands that we manage. So we've been doing this for a while. We know what we're doing. Um, I definitely see the potential in your brand. I see the potential in your product. I don't see why it should stay at 1800 ratings. So um, I would love to sit down with you, Christine, and, and you know, talk about your listing, talk about your brand. Maybe we can discuss the different uh, growth strategies or see if it would make sense for us to partner together and, and you know, having us come in and filling all those gaps and holes for you. So if you're interested, I hope you find this video helpful. You know, you can click the link at the bottom of the email. It'll say book a call and uh, hopefully I'll be speaking with you soon. Okay. This is Ricardo with my MSN guy. Thanks for watching Christy. Take care. Bye-bye.